Flo, I just can't play Astra like you. I just keep getting countered everywhere I go. Please, I need tips. Uh, yeah, sure. Which agents did you want tips for? Everyone. All right, I got you. What's up, guys? Flo here, and today we're going to be giving tips on how to play against every single other agent while playing Astra. So for those of you who don't know, I peaked Radiant 98. I'm on top 100. Let's fucking go. But if you've seen my guides, then you know that I have a specialty in Astra. Before the video starts, I'd like to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, the like button. If you could just take a few seconds to one tap that like button and change its color, it would be a huge help to the channel and I would personally really appreciate it. Also, if you ever want personalized coaching, I coach through Metafy, so feel free to check me out there. Now, without further ado, let's head on to the video. Before we go on to specific agents, the general rule for playing Astra is to plan things out for the future as much as possible. Stop trying to play stars fast, as that will be necessary as you head up to the higher echelons of the rank system, but you should try to avoid doing that as much as possible and use it more as a last ditch option. Placing stars based on the likeliness of a hit coming to your site or the other site is a much better way of playing Astra than just dropping them down as the enemy team is executing. Astra has really strong abilities with the one downside that you need to take time to place them. And while you're placing these stars, you will be out of the fight without really any information on what's going on. By thinking and planning ahead, you essentially circumvent this one huge downside of playing Astra and just fully benefit off of the fact that she has really good ability. Now with that out of the way, let's move on to the specific agent tips. Against Brimstone, it's very common that at some point they will be playing Postplant. If they have ult, drop a star first on the spike. When the ult is finished, start sticking the spike, trying to get it to half. If the molly lands before that, you're going to want to use the time while the molly is on the floor to see if the brimstone is peaking, to try to get closer to the spike, as a lot of the time they may lose their nerve and check to make sure the molly landed properly giving you a chance to get the kill and defuse safely after. After the combo is used, if you've already gotten it half, then you have a solid chance at just defusing. If not, then depending on how much time is left on the clock, you can either risk it for a full stick or force the brimstone to start spamming the smoke and then you swing out of the smoke once you hear which direction they're spamming from. Using a fake smoke that looks like it would be a normal smoke and then swinging out of it could give you a little bit of an advantage as while the brimstone is running up into the smoke to spam the spike, they might not expect it to drop and you'll just get a free kill. Playing against Viper, when you're on the attack side, try to get her to put up her wall or orb before placing down your stars. Popping smokes too early will result in her just popping her util and placing a molly at the choke, shutting your entire team out and wasting two of your already limited four stars. Instead, you can place stars and pull them back or just put pressure by peeking and feigning that you're pushing to bait out this util. Wait for the gas to go down, then drop the real stars to start the execute. When countering Viper's ult, most Vipers like to play close up to the left or right so that the moment you walk through the ult, you just get shot from the side of the head. To try to mitigate this, you can place a fake star toward one of the corners, pull it back, swing into the smoke to check that angle, and kill the Viper. Now this is extremely helpful in a hard left and hard right situation like I have here in halls. I drop my fake star toward the right side, pull it back, swing through, clear the right, immediately flicking to the left to clear the left side. This allows you to clear angles one by one rather than needing to deal with both of them at the same time. When dealing with Omen, make sure to be aware of his flash when on the defense. It's undodgeable if you're in the way of the flash, so try to work around it. Certain waves involve putting a gravity well at the choke, so even if you are flashed, the pull will delay the push enough so by the time that they get to you, you'll be unflashed. Next is having a sight smoke that you can walk into. This is especially important against Jet because she can dash past your pull and capitalize on the fact that you are blind. Having a smoke in the middle of sight allows you to pop it and push into it, and in the case that the Jet does dash into the smoke that you're in, you being nearsighted still has a solid chance of getting the kill. To play against Killjoy, remember her turret can be affected by Gravity Well. If it's holding a long sight line, using the Gravity Well to pull the turret behind a wall can give you an easy flank without really tipping off what you're doing. You can also use a smoke to cover the turret, but the sound of smokes may tip off a high level player more than the sound of a gravity well. Not necessarily because of the volume of the sound, but because it's less common that a gravity well is used to pull a turret out of the way. Next, Astro Util is really strong for retake as well as holding sight. If the enemy KJ has ult, then it may be worth it to just sit off site and allow the enemy to waste utility against an open bomb site. Save Astro ult for the inevitable retake and try not to waste too many of your stars slash abilities so you can have them when your team meets up with you. To play against Cypher, you can use your recall smoke to clear pesky tripwires that would otherwise be dangerous to break. Drop your star right around where the trip is based on the sound cue, pull it back, immediately swing out, break the trip, then fall back. 
be careful. A lot of the time, Cyphers will be playing close to the trips and try to swing off of it. So be ready to post and kill any player that decides to swing. With using a fake smoke, you don't have to waste a star and you can still break the trip to deny information. When Cypher ults, remember that it is a snapshot of where you are, unlike other darts where they can see you actually move. You can sometimes fake the enemy out by looking in the opposite direction that you're heading, feigning that you're heading towards somewhere else. To counter Sova, pay attention to the sound cues when he owl drones. It's distinct and you can actually deny information with the gravity well. By pulling it at the correct time, you can keep the drone in place so it's unable to check the deeper parts of sight so either you or your teammate can stay hiding. Be careful though as without a pull this does weaken your sight hold. You can also manage this with a Nova Pulse although it can be a bit harder to land or time properly. On the defense to counter his dart, you can put a mid sight smoke so that you can walk into it if you don't have enough time to shoot the dart or can't find it. This can save you from getting pinged and a lot of the time save your life. When going against a Sage, be extremely careful about aggressive walls. Specific walls will allow her to see over your smokes and kill you if you aren't aware. Either post up for them in expectation of it happening or avoid being open to it completely. You can set up trap plays if you read the enemy Sage well and get a free pick on the round. Play slow to try to bait out her slows. Sage slows are very detrimental in stopping your team's rush. Try to bait them out early in the round by putting a little bit of light pressure, forcing her to throw her slows early so that when you hit the site later, it'll be much easier. As for her ultimate, remember where her teammates have died and try to deduce where she will be going to res. If you're aware, you can react really fast to the sound of the res, dropping stars on it, using your pulls or concusses to kill the resing player, and if you're lucky, you might get her as well. To play against Phoenix, you have to be aware of his flashes. He'll commonly run up to a corner, flash, and kill you. What is less common is him flashing inside of a smoke. A lot of the time, you can smoke an area that he's coming towards and sit in. He'll expect it to be clear, and you can catch him with his pants down, ready to flash out of the smoke, but not into it. If you are in a firefight with a Phoenix and he gets out of line of sight, immediately be ready for him to flash again, playing counter flash or getting out of line of sight is the easiest way. Jet dashes are super common for sight anchors like Astra to need to deal with. While having the 2 star setup is very common and strong, Jet is one of the agents that can circumvent it. You can either throw the sight smoke to give you more space to work with on sight and isolate the jet, or you can prepare for the dash by placing a star there beforehand and using your Nova Pulse when she lands. This requires a little bit of recognizing patterns since jets tend to dash to the same place a lot, but proper planning can get you a free kill. Against Reyna, play up close to your smoke sometimes. Its near sight won't really affect you, and similar to how phoenixes will think of flashing out of a smoke, you can catch Reynas running into your smoke with their flash out, giving you an easy kill. You'll also be able to dodge the flash by weaving in and out of your smokes to maintain sight. If the enemy Reyna is mid heal behind a penetrable wall, try spamming a little, not necessarily to kill her, but more to cut her heal off short, as if she takes any damage, it will stop healing. On the defense side, a saturating raise is one of the scariest things you need to deal with. Play stars meant for gravity well in key locations, as this can almost instantly Instantaneously cancel any speed she was meant to gain from satcheling and may force her to just waste the ult. If she is still standing in the gravity well when it pops, then you might be able to use the fragile effect for a free kill. Even if she has ult, since she'll take double damage, if she's looking the wrong way, she might not even react in time. Similarly to Sova's drone, Astra's gravity well can pull her boom bot. Using this, you can alter the trajectory of the bot, making it not clear areas that it was meant to. Forcing the rays to manually need to clear it, playing against Breach is a bit tough, since he has a lot of utility to clear you out of sight when on the defensive side. Avoid playing common fault line locations and dodge drones as well as enemy sight lines so he doesn't know where to focus his utility. Prepare yourself to dodge flashes and double stack gravity well and Nova Pulse if possible to delay the team so that his utility has no effect by the time your stall fades. If he has ult, it's better to play retake, use as little utility as possible, saving it for when your teammates come and retake together. Good skies will use their flashes for information. You can preemptively avoid the information gained from the flash by placing a star on you and pulling it back. It's a pretty high level skill as it requires you paying attention to know how close the flash is to you to time the pullback, but if you're not as skilled then you can just pop a normal smoke as long as you're okay with using one of your stars for this. This can sometimes get you a free kill as when skies think an area is clear they play much more carelessly. In terms of Yoru, he's a massive pain. His ult pretty much gives him a free sight, and even if you are set up, it's hard to play against it as he will have information on where exactly you are and relay that to his team. It's much better to just play for retake, save a few stars to ensure you have smokes as well as pulls and concusses, then try to hold the sight and likely just die. If you have ult, then it's almost always a better option, work with your team to help counter Yoru. If you are trying to hold sight, then be prepared to dodge his flash. Almost every Yoru tosses his flash before he teleports to back sight, either playing anti-flash or being hyper aware so you can flick away can net you a free kill. This is especially 
since they have a delay before they can be able to pull out their gun. Yoru's clone is also pesky and is usually thrown from behind a smoke. If you feel the execute is coming, start spamming the smoke a little bit and sometimes you can catch the clone before it even exits the smoke, making it much less dangerous. In an Astra mirror match, it usually comes down to which Astra has better star management. On the attack side, use your stars early in the round to try to bait the enemy Astra into popping hers by recalling them and using a bit of noise. She might fear for a rush and pop her stars early, which means less gravity wells and nova pulses for you to need to deal with. A key factor is realizing that the site she's on is actually weaker than the other sites because Astra as an agent benefits everyone on the team equally and has no personal abilities to helping her hold the site. Recognizing this can allow you to pick the easier site to take on the attacking side. Be careful if she has ult, as that means playing post plant is much, much worse, or at times an insta lose. You can use your smoke to help you get past the walls easier if it does happen, as they'll usually hold the opposite sides of the wall. If the enemy Asha is playing post plant, tap the spike as soon as you can to bait out the gravity well. Remember that your smokes last 15 seconds, so using your own ability cooldown timer is a good reminder of when your smokes are going to fade. KO is the counter to every agent with his suppress abilities from his knife, but there are ways around it. Since you can hear the knife land, you have a bit of time to activate your abilities before you are suppressed. Popping a smoke and a pull right before you get suppressed might buy you just enough time for your teammates to rotate and help you out. Also use Astro's global presence against KO's ult. His ult has a range, so dropping stars from outside the ult range, activating them, then running into site to retake might just give you the cover you and your team needs. If you are defending on site against KO ult, time your peak slightly later. You can kill the KO, but he can be picked up by his teammates. So instead, if you're going to trade one for one, aim for a teammate that can't be picked up by peeking a little bit later since they'll be following up behind the KO. When you go against the chamber, remember that his trips are very easy to cover with smokes. If you see a chamber trip, don't just drop the star dead center, as if the walkway is too narrow, you won't be able to walk around the smoke and might have to walk through it, therefore setting off the trip and wasting the smoke as well as giving away your position. Make sure you have just enough room to walk around the edge of the smoke by thinking of the circle as a line. You realistically just need to use the edge of the circle to cut off its line of sight from you and you won't have a problem. The counter chamber is up, make sure you use smokes to your advantage. If you want to get fancy with it, you can use your recall star mechanic and chain multiple of them for further distances. To counter Neon, use her fast lane against her. Usually Neons will throw a fast lane from the entrance of the choke. If you are positioned properly, a well-timed smoke that is already placed can isolate the Neon from any of her teammates, getting you a free kill while she is mid-run, as well as making you much harder to trade. Avoid playing in small and cramped areas, as that is the perfect place for Neon to use a relay bolt, and you don't have much outplay potential there. Countering Fade is a little tough, since her prowlers can manually clear a lot of angles. Remember that it requires line of sight to chase you and recognize how Fades usually clear with it. They'll swing right and left quickly to check if anyone's hiding in corners, but if you have a smoke that you're hiding in, it won't see you. Just make sure that the prowler doesn't enter your smoke while you're in it. Also use the sound of it to break the prowler before it exits the choke smoke. It's a pretty big hitbox so you can break it before it even clears any of the close angles, forcing attackers to still need to clear them before coming out onto site. This is especially helpful if you're mid-rotation between two spots and can buy you just enough time to get into a better position. Also, always be looking upwards for the haunt as that can completely destroy a defensive hold. Use the sound cue that the haunt makes to give you a little bit of forewarning. If Fade has ult, it's a lot of the time better to just play off site similar to Breach ult and just save the utility for the retake. The last agent to counter is Harbor. The key tip to playing against one is to understand that his strengths lie with aggression. His abilities may deny line of sight, but he doesn't have any direct ways of really dealing with a rush. Bait out his utility similar to how you would do with Viper, and he'll be stuck with a very, very long cooldown. His Cascade and Cove are likely what you're going to need to be working with, so in the case of Cove, be very wary of walking into one, and if you see a Cascade coming toward you, be ready for the Harbor to be following up right behind it. As for his ult, it's pretty easy to dodge, but it does give away your position, so a lot of the times it is worth to just play retake and that covers every single agent this video took me a really long time to make as you can see from the fact that i got a haircut and i'm in completely different clothes so if you like the video remember to like and subscribe it makes putting all these hours into editing worth it if you guys have any suggestions on what videos you want to see comment down below and let me know if you want to see me live follow me on twitch but without further ado i'll see you in the next one peace out